Hello, Grimos, and welcome back to downloadable content. Say it with me now, it must be Tuesday, because it's Mod Showcase Tuesday! Tuesday! This week, we are once again in Bone Lab, and I am surprised myself because I really thought the game was going to update and break all the mods. So, before it does, I need to show you some awesome new mods for Bone Lab, including this. Yeah! Democracy! The first mod we have to take a look at today is the Helldivers Avatar by Dolan Trum. Now I think it's pretty obvious right now that I'm I'm a Helldiver. Look at me. Look, I, I can even do I can do an actual hell dive in this game because it's physics bone lab. You, you get it. But I wanna see. Let's let's clone me. And they were going through the process of defrosting him. So I just cloned myself. So this is what the Helldiver Avatar looks like. You get two of them. You get one with a cape and one without a cape. In fact, you can see my cape physics right now. Look at me. You can be cape physics in it up. It is so awesome. And you're just so cool. I love having you there, buddy. I cloned you. You're my little friend. So we're going to leave you right there to hell dive. And um, I'm going to show them the next thing. The perfect mod to show you right now is the Orbital Laser by Q10 is a robot. So if I scroll over here to the Q10 section, where you see the airstrike detonator, the beam, and all that stuff. So what we're going to want first is the airstrike detonator. So this is it in my hands. Look how fantastic it looks. And oh no, <laughs> what is this? A bunch of bugs? There's terminids on this planet next to my hell diver friend. Well, it's okay. They're, oh, they're going to jump at me. So imagine, you know, you're, you're hell diving it up. You forgot to load ammo. And you can call in the airstrike. So we're going to call it in right here. Oh, orbital laser missed me. I think it actually killed me. No, it did. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing, but let's fight the clankers instead. So imagine you're sitting here, right? You know, you do your dive. You're bad on clankers. You're like, oh yeah, clanker, you don't have a... We're gonna let you call a bot drop in. So we've killed a couple of clankers, but now, oh no, we just ran out of ammo and in my last magazine. So let's go ahead and grab out the airstrike, point where we want it to go and just hit them with the orbital laser. Yeah! That looks awesome. Of course, we were gonna need more explosions and stuff, but look, we have orbital lasers. You can pretty much just play Helldivers right now. How cool is this? Up next, we have the Destructible Go-Kart by Pumaz06. So here we have a normal go-kart. Let's go ahead and test this out. We sit in, classic Helldiver style, and we drive, and then, oh man, totally normal, right? But don't worry, we have a new one, a destructible one. Let's put it right there. Looks pretty normal, right? And now we're gonna get in and drive it around and see what it takes to destroy. Just grab the steering wheel. No, grab the steering wheel, what is happening? Why can't you grab the steering wheel? Okay, I, I guess you can, it's just, that was weird. So we're driving it around, we do a sharp turn, and oh no, ah, uh, what's this? Oh, that was cool. It can I still drive it? You can still technically drive it if it's broken. You just don't have the steering wheel anymore. <laughs> Dude, this thing actually it gets more and more broken. Can I, <laughs> can I have my steering wheel back? <laughs> this thing is so fun. I think the steering technically works still, is this weird? I'm just holding a beautiful steering wheel that flew off the handle. <laughs> oh my God, this go-kart is so cool, but I need to try something. Let's make another one. And then I need to become big fold. Here we go, so now I'm a big boy. So we can just pick this up like so. Oh my God, I just ripped half of it off. And then we can just chuck it. <laughs> That's great. This is so cool. Punch, you can't go anywhere. This is so cool. Destructible go-karts. This is a must have. Moving on, we have the whiteboard by Rexmech. So I've gone on and spawned the whiteboard right here. It's a nice whiteboard. And then I've spawned some tools. So let's put this down here. We have an eraser pen tool, which is this guy right here. That's the eraser one. This is a big eraser, but let's start with this little black pen here. And now we're gonna draw something beautiful. You hold down the trigger while, while touching it and um, you can draw things. So this is the black pen. He's gonna have an eyeball and then another eyeball. Give him a nice nose. And how about a big cheesy smile? Look at this. This guy looks so happy to be alive and created. This is actually working extremely well. I'm, I'm impressed right now with how well this whiteboard is working. Give him some of that. You need a nice little ear right here with a little 
ear hole marks. So you got your ear hole marks. Look at them. That's a cool looking dude. And now you're gonna need some hair, right? Well, let's give you some different color hair. How about some green hair? You know, you wouldn't be a cool guy if you didn't have green hair. So let's put some green hair there. Goes all the way up and you get some nice little spikes right there. Look at that, green hair. And I, I should probably color it in, right? Color in your hair because that's what we do. Did you guys know that I was a, a professional artist? You didn't? Well, I'm embarrassed for you now. Now you know. So we gave him some green hair. Excellent. But you want to know what else? He needs some neck stuff and clothes. So we give him a big old lollipop neck, and then we're going to close it off here. And um, let's start giving him some, like a shirt. Let's say this is like a weird little collar. And now I need blue. My man's wearing a blue shirt. Is anyone else amazed right now that you can do this? Is it just me? I know that you can technically do this in Half-Life Alex, but look at this. It's a whiteboard. Wow. Oh no, I've made a mistake. How silly of me. Now we go to the eraser tool. Now we have an eraser and we can just start erasing. We can, oh wow, that's really accurate. That is extremely accurate. I can erase up here and then we have a big eraser for bigger mistakes. Look at you, you're not a big mistake, are you? You're a little happy boy. Right, happy boy? Okay, no, he might be a really big mistake. So since he's a really big mistake, we got the big mistake eraser. So you know, like if your dad's looking at you watching this video right now and he wants to erase that big mistake, he easily can with a whiteboard. So download this by Rex Mac. It is so cool. Up next, we have the VHS Shop Remake by Soul With Me. Now this one might actually have some licensed sounds and music sparse throughout. So if you hear the noise, Randall me go out and only hear my, well, voice, it's because I had to remove it because it was playing a weird song or something. But let's go ahead and explore this one. I'm pretty sure this is mildly creepy, which I'm not ready for right now, but we're gonna go ahead and there's just the rain, I just wanna experience this one. And if I get jump scared, well, that is unfortunate, but let's go ahead and uh, go inside the VHS store. Is it a push? Okay, it's a push. Wow, this is, let's close this. Oh, this is mildly unsettling. Is this moving? Is this an, oh, it's an aquarium that plays the Bone Lab music, so can I? I have the other things on, so this works, right? Yeah! Splashing water. So make sure you also uh, download the dependency, the electric libraries. This will enable you to, you know, splash also. In fact, is there something I can put inside there? Hey, look, we found a lighter. So the lighter turns on. And look at that. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> there we go. Let's see if we can turn the lighter on and throw it in water. And... That looks really natural, like it's really floating and putting out the fire. <laughs> okay, well, it floats. You wanna know what? I think we need to put someone in there also. How convenient, look, there's a four just in here also. Listen, I'm extracting a civilian Helldiver style. Don't move, and then, hey! Yeah! <laughs> My man made a splash. Can you get out of the dunk tank? This is re really an unfortunate position. To... Oh my God, what was that? No one's jump scaring me today. Oh, it's playing Family Guy. Oh my God. We might have to mute the Family Guy right now, but let's go back here. And um, so I don't think I could play the sound, but look at this. This is, can I move the mouse? Can I beep? Like when you're the only one at the table. Oh, you can type on the keyboard? Change the, change the show. These are the VHSs. So can you put the VHS in something and change it? Is there a VHS yeah, he's player here? He's trying to get sick. Okay, that's a computer, so so I think we can probably put like this in, right? Maybe? Put the album in. Remember the, when I was a horse whisperer? Is this a working door? Oh, it is a working door. That is to the bathroom, though. Where's the... I could have sworn there was a downstairs last time. I mean, this one says redacted, though. I feel like this is supposed to go in somewhere. Oh, you can put it in the TV. What changes? It's 12. Oh my God. And my blood is running cold. You put a creepy pasta in here Shut with discord brain. messages. My brain is hard -wired. I don't. My okay, so I'm not gonna spoil this entirely. What was that? I, spent the whole first I feel like I heard something. Look, just okay, shut up. I don't wanna hear this. Place. 
My head's stuck in the- Oh! It's eating my head! No! Oh yeah, yeah, this is the- I remember this one. This is the creepy one. If you're down here and you jump scare me, you're getting shot in the face. Just know that if there's anyone down here, they're getting shot real, real hard in the face. I am such a wimp right now. Guys, I'm, I'm about to get jump scared. I can feel it. I'm going to open this one and I'm dead, right? <sighs> there's another TV. We could put on more VHSs. There's vents. There's a lot of stuff here. I, this is it. I can feel it. Okay, rip my head off. I'm dead, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't like being here. I hear noises. I'm going to go into this corner right here. Hell, what is that? What is that? Hell Divers never dies at a bomb? Is that a grenade? Who threw that? <laughs> okay, get me out of here. Let's go back home. Up next, we have the Rust Minicopter by Kermits the Frog. Just look at this thing. Isn't it absolutely glorious? This is built for a Hell Diver. So backseat obviously controls it. And this would be like if you're just a dude and you're like, take me somewhere, dude. So this looks like it's going to be great for fusion. So that's a good note. But I want to sit in the backseat. Oh, it turns the blades on. Can it hit my hand? Oh, I can't tell if it's going to hit my hand. So we grab the throttle, and then I believe we just triggered and we'll throttle up, right? Yeah, look at us go. And then if we press the menu button, do we hover? We do hover with the menu button. That's excellent. So if you're just looking to hover and you're like, hey, Ford's down there. Pretty cringe that you can't fly, you know? <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep on going. So we do this, we turn, press the menu button, hold the trigger, and just go. Look at this. This is perfectly executed, this mod. Simple enough, but perfectly executed. I am I'm having a great time already with this one. This is this isn't what do you think, man? Is this a cool mod? You would you would you would sit in here, right, with me? You sit in here, right, with me? Someone you are gonna sit in here with me. Excellent. Let's first deal with the non-believer. Don't swing at me. I'm just gonna grab you. I'm just gonna I said don't swing at me. Idiot. We're just grabbing you. I'm just gonna grab you by the butt. And then we're going to constrain you to your chair so you can't wiggle out. Good. Yes, be constrained there. And now, I feel like Willy Wonka. Here we go. I can show you the world. It's barely flying. Come on, stop being so fat, Ford. Can you just be... Come on, fly. Yes, we're doing it. I'm capturing your friend, Ford. We'll see you next time. Dude, get lighter. Moving on, we have Labyrinth by Sir Whiskey, and it's actually a mini campaign. Sir Whiskey made, I, I believe, the factory before, and I'm excited to play on this one. So let's go ahead and grab gun. And um, what is this? Oh, whoa, this thing's cool. Did you add um, any additional lore to the clipboard? I'm going to find out. Let's grab it. You did. And <clears throat> I think you're going to need some additional lore lines. Well, they're coming after me. Oh, he just disintegrated. Well, let's read the lore. Do you have what it takes? This labyrinth features dynamic combat scenes, including jumping, climbing, driving, and skilled shooting. Prove your skills to me or die trying. Oh, and do enjoy the escalator ride. There's an escalator? This, this one? Does it work? It does work. Dude, you're doing great on making these levels, man. All right, everyone. So it begins. Let me just reload this. Just out of the... John Marston sends his regards. Don't get up. Do I have to do it? What else we have here? What's this? Oh, is that the M1 Garand? Nice. You added that. That's great. Hey, bud. Let me just open this door and uh, give you the sweet, sweet business. <laughs> In here. What is this? So I don't think I'm going to do the entire campaign because I want you guys to still... Still uh, explore for yourself, but we can go into this large vent, which we're about to in just a second. I just want to clear this. Freeze, Helldiver! He didn't say anything, so we got... Whoa! We got some automaton forces! So we might have to... Ah, Jesus! <sighs> There's an automaton guys up there or something. Or maybe it's the Illuminate. That makes more sense. That's definitely the Illuminate up there. What's going on with this? What's wrong with this gun? Stay straight. Gun, what is happening to you? What? Stupid gun! Why are... Oh, my guns are being weird. Get down here! Come on, Illuminate! Oh, well. Took care of them. I'm going to actually go back this way. In your guys' playthrough, you can do whatever you want. 
I'm going to go the fun way, which is the vents. That way you can see this version and the other version when you play. And plummet. Oh, wait. Did this just kill me? It kills you? Oh, come on. All right. I guess we're going to go this way again. What's up, Helldiver? Let's experience this together as a family. Oh, hey, guys. Um, throw that. They're really coming after me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is great. I'm going to need you to go right. Come here. Right about there. Stop. Okay. I want you to get the door closed on you. Do it. Do it. Close the door. What? Come on. Hell divers send their regards. How's this open? Do I just pick it? Oh. Ah, oh God. No. Oh. Ah. Whew. That was close. Anyone here? Oh, it's a mini labyrinth. So let's just quickly go through there. We we'll probably just have to I'll jump and climb. I hear crazy noises. Oh, there's a big head crab down there. No. It's one of the stalkers. <laughs> Now we have a climbing part, so that's cool. We're gonna go ahead and start climbing. I love that people are making campaigns. Can I just say that you guys are heroes for making campaign levels? Oh, swords and knives? I gotta take this, because they need to add like a, a blade. Actually, they need to add like a laser sword to Helldivers. I would love that. But right now, let's, hey guys, hiya! <laughs> I don't think so. You're done. And then there was you. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna have to go into Intense slow motion. Yeah! And then for you, plunging attack. Congratulations, you're the last one. Was this a spiky death pit? And you want me to climb this ladder? Okay, I can do that. Huh. I feel like I'm in third grade again. Okay, dude, this, this is awesome. What you have done here is what we call a great idea. Oh no! Gun! Ah! Okay. Oh no! Oh, the ladder collapsed! Oh, you brat! You're a brat for doing this! You know what, man? I just gotta say that that was awesome. And I, I appreciate you doing that one. And I think I'm gonna save this campaign for another special time. Maybe a, an entire video on it. But right now... Let's just ride this escalator. This is so fun. You guys need to try this one yourself. I don't want to spoil it any further. So let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. The final mod I'm going to show you is right here in the hollow chamber. And that is the monolith boss fight by TM2K and Bamboozler. If I go into palettes, I can select monolith and then monolith again. So you can actually do this one on any map. But you can also do it, and it's recommended to do it on the arena first. But let's try this out here. We're going to spawn it in. Look at this monolith. And did it work? Oh, here we go. Yes, there's the monolith. We have begun. So there's the flat. Oh, it just spawns in enemies, by the way. So what we're going to do is, trust me, it'll do whoa, more than that in just a second. We just need to survive this little, oh, we died immediately. Yeah, I just need to keep living. Because we're, I need to show you at least the very end of this. Back up, dude. And then you? Let's just uh, get rid of him. Dodge. No, I don't think so. Disgusting. Oh, he hit me. So those are technically the bosses. I just didn't read how to beat them. But we're just going to keep going until possibly we make it to the end. I want to be able to beat this, man. I want to feel a sense of pride when I win. Be dead. Okay, you're dead. All right. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Do you break the pillars? Oh! Where's that going? Um, what did, did I win? Is this winning? Is the fire winning? It just shot off into space, into the void. I don't, I, was that the boss fight? Let me know if I did something wrong down below. <laughs> but, hell divers never die. Okay, wait, I, I, don't, I don't think this is it. It's not over yet. Something crazy just happened and it's so red I can't see. Oh my goodness, so there is an end to the boss fight. Right now, this is just a dream. I don't want to spoil this any further for you guys because you need to see it for yourselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. So, okay, this has been fun. Dodge that one, slow motion, and headshot. 
Well, my friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Tuesday. I hope you, Jeffrey, had a great time today. And if you did, why not go ahead and subscribe? It's free. Click the big subscribe button down below. Join up. I will greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, check out all the mods all linked in the description. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time. Thank you.